I won't let you go. Oh, I'm watching too much TikTok. Oh God. Well, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> back. I thought I was wrong with me. Jesus Christ. Um. So, I, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure if I've just kind of found a new thing that I'm into. But I have really, 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 really been enjoying riding these sleds recently. I don't know what it is. Like, it, well, even when Sledders was uh, first releasing and popping off, I was really enjoying it there as well. And for some reason now, I'm really enjoying playing it in MX Bikes too. So I'm very happy to uh, be playing this track for you today, which is also created by... Created? Oh my god. Created by the creator of the uh, Snowcross mod pack, uh, Mr. Prod. And he has released this track for us, which is the first, let's say, dedicated track for the snowmobiles in-game. Obviously, all tracks can be ridden on this thing, but we don't have any like properly dedicated ones for it just yet. Uh, this is the first of hopefully many. This is called... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Please live. Please live. No, this is called... Ah, <laughs> oh, the Compound Lot. Com Something along those lines. Uh, it's, as you can see, it is snow. We are on a snowmobile. It is a perfect fit. And this is the actual track design here. You'll see it's quite small based off the track map on the right-hand side. But this is based off the example track that Poboso, I guess, provides in the track building pack. Uh, just kind of rescaled to work for the snowmobile. And uh, outside of this, around the outside, there's a bunch of free ride jumps. There's ramps or actual, I was going to say dirt jumps, but you know what I mean. Snow jumps at some point. And uh, I'm happy that people are making tracks for these. As we go over the bar again, and as I've got hair in my mouth hair in my mouth for all of you passionate gamers you can now get 20 percent off all g fuel products worldwide by using code lins at checkout and for any of you motorheads looking for some new drip or apparel use code mxpr underscore lins 15 fxrracing.eu to get 15 percent off all links and codes are in the description down below enjoy the video and drop a cheeky little like and subscribe okay uh, i would love us to get to a point with these things where obviously I, first of all i believe there is going some updates made for these as well uh, just throwing that out there, I've seen him mentioning that he's working on an update, both uh, model-wise and, I guess, handling-wise too. Uh, I would love for us to get to a point where we've got a couple of dedicated tracks that you can actually run a series on, on these things, because I think that would just be so much fun and just different. I definitely want to consider doing, like, elimination races or something of the sort at some point on this thing. Um, but I've been really, really enjoying it. I've been using it on things like JV's The North recently. Uh, I've tried it on one or two other tracks, but... When, when the track's not made out of snow, it kind of loses its touch a little bit, if that makes sense. So it's not as convincing, but I've, I've been enjoying this so, so much. And also just where... I, I enjoy Sledders, obviously, but my uh, where it's a sandbox game, my creativity is very, very limited. I feel like there's only X amount of things to do. I know that they're currently working on a huge update at the moment in terms of like making more hard-packed uh, snow trails rather than all the soft loamy stuff all over the place and with 10 times more than that that's just what i can recall off the, uh, the top of my head but i think that's gonna be really really fun and that release is kind of the end of this month i believe i, I think i've heard the date the 29th thrown around somewhere i think i might be away or going away literally the day that it comes out but i 100 will be covering it as soon as i return so i'm excited for that to see what happens in that game because i think that game's got so much potential uh, but in the meantime in the downtime it's lovely being able to uh, play this sort of thing but obviously it works out very very nicely being a uh, fxr sponsored athlete <laughs> where fxr is so big in the uh snow cross world uh so but... I... hang on hang on hang on no some, I swear I just saw like the imprint of the track map on this bit of snow as I went to take off here. Is that... Wait. No, that... I'm not tripping, am I? That, that... If, so it's got the start at the bottom that goes along. Well, along to the left. And then up. And then round... I swear that's the track... That is... That is so, so strange. Um... <laughs> Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Prod did say um, that he basically just wanted this track to be done, essentially. Like, it's something that he worked on for a while and was kind of his gateway into track building. And now, kind of, once it's done, so now he can start focusing on a, a I think it's a national track that is actually something that's a bit more raceable uh, for the masses, which will be really, really good fun. And I can't lie, boys, once I've finished my arena cross stuff, I have a real strong desire to... <laughs> to maybe try and make a, uh, a map for this as well. I think it could be really, really, really good fun. Uh, some of these jumps are 
kicking me over the bars quite uh, quite viciously, I have to say. Uh, so I'm hoping that's just a skill issue for me right now. Uh, but he says he's kind of tweaked the uh, the height map and the scale and such for these. Now, if you haven't watched any uh, Snowcross before, it's not quite as satisfying as Supercross is in terms of you're able to like downside all these doubles or triples. It looks absolutely brutal. Like it's mogul sections, it's really huge rollers that you're just kind of slamming the machine off of. Uh, it looks very, very tiring and very, very difficult. Um, so I think that's something that we need to try and, I guess, recreate or capture in this game is that sort of kind of riding, not not perfect supercross, just transition scaling wise for these things. But there's something about it where it's an automatic as well. It's it's nice. I think you can mess around with the uh, the gearing a little bit, which on some tracks you need to do. So I've played one or two tracks where uh, you kind of you run out of top speed. So the acceleration's really good, but you just run out of uh, run out of a little bit of oomph. So then you need to make the gearing a little bit longer. And I think it'd be nice having competitions and stuff on these because there is uh, a little bit of I guess strategy or technique that that comes to play with that. Whether you want to have a high accelerating machine that can rip out the corners really quickly, or if you want something a little bit slower that you might have to try and carry your momentum more, but then you get a bit more top speed overall. I think there's uh, definitely room for some very, very fun races to be had. And, uh, oh god, let's go over this. I, I kind of, I keep over jumping that double in. So I'd like to be able to go double, triple there. Let's get up and over this. And if we go on this left side, we can step over and then try and triple all the way out. A little, <laughs> little brake tap. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it works in the same way. You can, you might be able to uh, lock up the, uh, the rear tread on the old uh, on the sleds and be able to get that sort of gyroscopic effect i did see a clip the other day of someone hitting a freestyle ramp on these things and getting absolutely steezy on it which i thought just looked very very impressive i don't know if it's a similar process to whipping motocross bike i imagine that it's a fair amount heavier so it's probably harder to get it uh, stepped out and brung back again but yeah i'm sure if you accelerate and get the uh, the tread moving on the back it probably has the same uh, same effect as just lighting up the rear wheel on a bike where it brings a uh, background straight brings it back round in line so let's try and... Oh, I have just noticed also I haven't had a lap time count yet. I'm not sure if that's me doing something wrong or if the uh, the track's time gates are a little bit boofed. Uh, but something to note for the future. Like uh, like he said, this is kind of one of the things that he could have sat there tweaking forever. But he just kind of wanted it to be done so he could work on uh, work on other projects. So let's have a little bit of a, a look around the outside. So all the way around the entirety of the outside of this place, there are jumps. And uh, usually it is a dirt jump accompanied by a ramp on the side. And uh, these ramps, by the way, I have uh, have tested it once or twice. These ramps work better than I think any other freestyle ramp I've used in the game. Just in terms of like smoothness, how well the uh, sled rides up it is really, really good. And I'll show you one very, very shortly. So as we hit this jump, you can either disappear off to the left and keep hitting that loop I've done over and over. Or we can uh, carve our way over to the right here. And we've got a couple more jumps over in this direction past all of the uh, past all the semis getting a little bit steezy so we go to the right here and you see right here i don't think i'm gonna have enough speed to get up and over this because this jump's huge yeah i need to turn up my speed a bit oh, just turn it into a backflip oh, run it out lovely stuff but these ramps the, the machine i don't know the sled just rides it really really well there's no like weird kicks there's no like weird traction that it gives you like it does on uh, motocross bikes so W. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping he kind of releases that as a, a mod pack for people, and if he has a PSD for it, so he can skin it as well, that would be a, a big old W. Because the ones that I use at the moment, which is by the Fluffy Gecko, I believe, they're they're fine. They do a job, but the traction on them is really really strange. Like it gives you some very strange kicks. But I don't know. These these work absolutely beautifully. Let's try it again. It'll go up, up and over. Imagine like living in one of these. Uh, like it's one of these houses, by the way, and then looking over, and you've just got <laughs> you've got snowmobiles just getting steezy over the way. And uh, what I see here is I don't think oh I'm not sure if that tree had collisions or if that was the way the rut goes, but uh, noted. I'd like to see because obviously underneath all of the, uh, the underneath the model here, this is I, I guess a motocross bike with tires, which you obviously can't see. But I'd be very interested to know like how that front tire works in let's say particularly wide ruts if that makes sense so you can imagine when you're driving these things you probably have one fat like trail for the uh for the track on the back and then you might have two smaller ones for the uh i don't what do you, what do you call the little uh ski skis 
little ones for the skis. I'd be very curious to see how that works with a front tyre. Because obviously you couldn't just build a normal rutted national track because it, you wouldn't be able to tell where your wheel is to uh, get slotted into those ruts. So you'd have to make things quite quite girthy, I think. Uh, I imagine it also stems back to having to make the start gates wider as well. Otherwise people's models will probably be glitching inside of each other where they're, where they're quite chunky, quite wide. And there's just quite a few things to consider, but I think it's definitely definitely doable. And by the sounds of things, people are enjoying this. Apparently you can't actually download these uh, machines again right now. Apparently the link got removed. Um, but I do know that... Oh! That was a weird one. I do know that uh, Prod is working on new ones as we speak. I've seen some screenshots of uh, the work-in-progress models. Uh, so all, all should be good. All should be good. I, I don't know what, what the ETA is on that, but it should be good fun. I, I just like doing things different in this game. I know it's a motocross game at the end of the day, and... But, I mean, people can enjoy it however they, they want to enjoy it. But this has just been really fun for me. And I think it's just because it's new and it's something else to learn. It's not just like your typical hop on a motocross bike and you're done. You know, I, I'm sure, to be fair, getting my uh, get my competitive brain on. Let's say there were competitions on this. I'm sure you could probably model swap this to, back to a motocross bike. And then, okay, I need more speed to hit that jump. I can't hit it with my current gearing. Uh you can probably model swap this back to a motocross bike and then probably have a much easier time ripping around because you kind of know where the front wheel is all, all times. But that's just a bit scummy, isn't it? You want to be able to enjoy it for what it's worth as well. And I saw, I, I didn't find out until just the other day that there's like e-bike championships going on on my MXP, which I was actually a little bit annoyed about because I enjoy riding the Varg in this game a lot. But they're already on about round four or five. So I wish I could have done that at the start of the series and actually been involved in it. Uh, but who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll move on a little bit. I do not want to take that one on the left there. So we're going to take this one on the right. Check up a bit. Oh, it's 100% backflip jump, isn't it? Yeah. Backflip my footer. Land it. Oh! But is this going to be the start of a uh, snowmobile takeover in MX Bikes? Who knows? I would love for that to be the case. I would love for it to be a, a well-fleshed-out discipline in this game. I think it would be a hell of a lot of fun. And I, again, I've not tried racing these against other people yet. I'm, I'm curious to see how it goes, like what uh, hitboxes and collisions are like, and just if it's a fun time all around. I imagine it imagine it should be. And I'd, I'd like to do some uh, races or elimination races on stream on these at some point. Uh, however, as I mentioned, I don't believe you can actually download them right now, but hopefully in the uh, very, very near future, we'll, we'll get a little bit of an update. A little backflip in Dinair. Landed at that time. Let's go, my God. I notice these are very lively, very easy to get spat off the back of the bike because you're uh, leaning back and accelerating a little bit too hard. Uh, but I don't mind it. Oh, oh. Okay, I don't mind it too much. I think it's absolutely fine. Let's get up over this. I want to do one or two more laps of this track because I don't think I've done it too much justice. But the fingers are warm now. The fingies are nice and toasty. So let's hit a little brake tap here, come to the outside. One thing that I found is very helpful on these, which i it's quite weird to wire into my brain because I've not had to do on bikes before. Um, but let's actually use the clutch. So a clutch is something I usually try and stay away from just by by law, by definition. I usually never, never touch it because uh, I think it actually kills your momentum rather than help you gain it. But on these things, especially if you're coming to like, like quite a tight corner, just get that oomph to get the uh, the bike going. Bike, oh God, to get the sled going again. It's uh, really, really beneficial, really helpful. And I I've heard a few people say that they use it on the bikes in game as well. And not something I'd personally recommend. I think if you can arc a corner as well as you can do and carry your momentum it ends up being much more beneficial for you than uh, tapping the clutch although if, if you're on like a, a one two five for example when you're in too high of a gear i think flipping the clutch a couple of times rather than like changing down can help in certain situations but it's not a it's not a practice that i would recommend doing at least anyway uh, but yeah a little bit of a, a shorter and sweet video today because the, the track isn't super long by any means it's uh it's prod's first track he's just testing testing the waters out um but i'm hoping that we get some more fleshed out like national style uh sledding tracks at some point to host actual races on i think that'd be very very exciting uh, texture wise i think it's good uh, obviously we've got the weird another weird little bug with the uh, the track map being on some of them snow textures but for what he's used with the white and the gray it's not overbearing. I, I've turned, bear in mind, I've turned reshade off. This is reshade on. And as you see, it kind of, it gets rid of a lot of the detail. It's it's not like too good to look at. And when I turn it off, you get to see a little bit more of that detail there. And it's not fully like flushed out with how bright it is. Uh, so yeah, if you are running reshade and cannot see on this track, definitely recommend turning it off. It will make your life a lot, uh, a lot, lot easier for you. Um, so thank you very much, uh, Rod. And I hope that 
we are going to have some more exciting stuff for this in the near future because I've been loving it so far. And uh, I think that'll wrap it up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as always. If you did, please do drop a uh, cheeky little like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace. I'm working hard. I'm sacrificing my life. I'm sacrificing my mind. I'm sacrificing my sanity. But most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time. Boy, I feel fine. I feel like I am a king. Honestly, I can't complain. Even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want. I got salt to be for my own.